Hey everybody, Sean Cummings here at the Gourmet Grill for Uptown Grocery Company. You know one of my favorite things about winter when I was little? Sloppy Joes. My mom would make them on white toast, I mean not white toast, white bread and it'd soak up all that. And then you'd end up having to eat the rest of it with a fork. So we're going to do the more adult version of that. And I realize I'm in the middle of my cooking 101 segment. You need to know how to make sloppy joes, but let's make ones that will survive a date. Because if you make it otherwise, she's not coming back. Okay? Be back with you in a minute. Now these sloppy joes are going to be a little bit different than your mother's sloppy joes. We're going to start off with some fresh bakery buns, a little extra virgin olive oil, some daddy hinkles, which is a local spice blend, a little rice wine vinegar, Worcestershire, tomato sauce, some mushrooms, onions, garlic, red peppers, and some veal beef combination. All right, everybody, before we get started on this uh, little sloppy joes, which everybody's pretty familiar with, we're just gonna throw a little extra virgin olive oil in a pan. Don't go crazy. A couple of tablespoons is more than enough. We're gonna get that thing heated up. Now, the first thing that I would recommend is just throw your onions in there first. And this is about one yellow onion. Now, um, however you judge that, just do it yourself. It doesn't matter. A little bit of mushrooms, and then these uh, red peppers as well. Now we'll throw the garlic in last because the garlic will burn first. And we're just gonna let this stuff cook. Throw the beef on top and the grease from the beef will actually cook everything through. Really pretty simple. Okay, now have a look. I mean, everything's in here. Take your seasoning, a couple of tablespoons. Make sure you get that around because you're seasoning all of the beef as well. I'm just gonna put these on top. Now while all this stuff cooks, we'll just come back to you because really there's nothing to do for a little while. So relax. Sloppy Joe's, the gourmet version. Okay, so right now we're about 25, 30% of the way through, and really and truly patience is the key. You get into a big hurry here, we're gonna ruin the whole thing. Next, we need to throw in our Worcestershire tomato, a little bit more. Now at this point, this is all bubbling up, so I'm gonna go ahead and get some of the rest of the spices poured in. Now, you know before we had put in our Danny Hinkle spices, so you got the steak spices in there, that one. Next, we're gonna do just a little bit of Worcestershire, maybe a tablespoon or two and a little bit of red wine vinegar, something you ordinarily wouldn't think would, uh, would matter in here. We're gonna let those cook down, and then uh, tomato sauce here at the end. And now everything here seems to be somewhat cooked, so let's go ahead and get our tomato sauce in here, and we'll turn these into real sloppy joes. Two cups of tomato sauce is what you're supposed to have in there, so let that thing roll. Okay, so this is just cooking down, and what we really need to do, you have the choice of adding something to this to thicken it up, or just let it cook, it isn't going anywhere. My mom would simmer this and it was absolutely phenomenal. Come home from school and that smell would just permeate the whole house. And you know what? That's what I like to think about when I think about my mom. You know what I mean? Hang on for a minute. Okay, y'all, let's go ahead and finish this thing up. Everything's cooked through. This is really pretty thick. That's what you're looking for. You just don't want it dripping off of there. But remember, it's Sloppy Joe's. It does not mean it's a clean place to work, a clean place to cook, or anything like that. These are beautiful rolls made over in the uh, bakery, absolutely fresh. Let's figure out a way to do this so you can see them. And don't worry about whether they fall over the tide because they're called Sloppy Joes, not Happy Joes, Medium Joes, Mom's Joes, Sweet Joes, any other kind of Joes, Sloppy Joes. So there you go, gourmet Sloppy Joes. You do want to serve them with some pickles just in case people are used to that. You can throw a little lettuce on there and stuff, but really they shouldn't be eating that with a Sloppy Joe. Do this and some cheap chips should be set. For these and more recipes, uptowngrocerycode.com. Thanks now. See you next time.